And just like that, we're back on Sister Circle Live. Well, the Oscars just wrapped up, and there's a ton of movies hitting theaters in the coming weeks. So let's not waste any more time. Back down to the circle to bring it all down is my favorite TV host and film critic, Zilla Valentine. What up, Zilla? I'm telling what's good. Your hat is sharp. Thank you very much. I, I say you're sharp. That. You're you got to coordinate. Yes, is yes, what you yes, got yes. To do. Okay, Zilla, so right into it. You were down to the Oscars. Yes, yes. That, first of all, that experience has got to be amazing. Oscars is always fun. Okay, so there... There is some controversy that is kind of surrounding the Oscars with, you know, inclusion and things yeah, of that nature. Yeah. Um, you got the pleasure to sit down with Issa Rae and Lakeith Stanfield. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like? It was great to sit down with them, especially to talk about something as beautiful as black mm -hmm. love. And I looked at the marriage story, which was nominated for an Oscar. Mm -hmm. but. The photograph is just as beautiful and just yes. as great a film, but I feel like the Academy wouldn't even recognize mm. it. So I asked them about how do they feel about that, and okay. it was pretty interesting. Well, let's see what they said. How do you feel, do you feel like more of our stories would be recognized by the Academy? Uh, I care and don't care at the same time. You know, you, you want an objective, uh, I think you can strive for an objective award show that just nominates what's good, and I don't, that won't ever happen, you know? <laughs> so I can't say anything either way. It kind of just is what it is till it's not. Yeah. You know, you know, us get, I mean, us getting in the positions to really have a, a sort of neutral judging point by which we can uh, approach these things with all the politics and other things involved, um, then I think then we can have an honest discussion about it. I think we're going to continue to do what we've been doing, and that's expanding up, uh, upon stories and, and giving our best and doing what we do best. And if ain't nobody else going to love it, we going to love it. So I know yeah. that's right. I yeah. love what they said. What do you think about Issa saying, you know, there's going to be content and it's going to be there and it's probably not going to be nominated and we're just going to keep it moving. Do you think that black actresses and actors have kind of moved on from trying to ac accumulate these accolades that yeah. are have never been really there for them and just kind of focusing on the art now? No, I mean, at the end of the day, the Oscars is still the end-all, be-all of what's great in Hollywood, mm -hmm. and you want to strive for that to be recognized in mm -hmm. that way. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Right. Like she said, I care, but I don't care. Right. It's like, you know what I mean? If this happens, I'll be great with it. I really want it, but if it doesn't, I'll still be me. Right. And I think that's what they feel. And we're and, still going to support. And like Lakeith said, we're going to still do what we've been doing. That's making great content. I know, that's right. Well, let's yeah. get into some more content. Okay, well, the photograph, we already know, is coming coming out this Friday, oh my God. which was amazing. What did you think about the film? The people are saying that it is the new Love Jones. I'm yeah. too excited. Oh, it's a very beautiful film. It showcases black love on mm -hmm. multiple different levels. You have multiple different types of relationship. You have the relationship between your parents, relationship mm. with your friends, and then you trying to create a relationship and then using all these other relationships around you. Right. I thought Stella did a, uh, Stella Megan the director did a beautiful job crafting this tale. Mm -hmm. It tells two parallel love stories, one from the past, one in the present, mm -hmm. and it's just a gorgeous film to watch. So many different shades of brown and so much interaction. Our interactions with each other it's different. It's more complex than yes. just a regular interaction between yes. two couples that aren't, you know, filled with the melanin that we have. Well, then there's that. I can't wait to see it because it just makes me happy every time I see the trailer. Absolutely. It's beautiful. Speaking of another amazing trailer is The Invisible Man. Yes. Uh, this is this is really cool because the last Invisible Man was Kevin Bacon mm -hmm. back in the day. So this Invisible Man is... Uh, it talks about... Well, if correct me if I'm wrong. This woman was abused and then her man, like disappeared, yeah. and then now he's torturing her right. while he's not around. Yeah. What time is it in this film? Because this sounds uh, like a fool. This movie is going to be great. It stars Aldous Hodge and Storm Reid. Yes. They're in it as well, and they're playing a platonic friendship relationship with Elizabeth Moss's mm -hmm. character, who is getting tormented by her yes. ex, who has figured out the secret of, like, how to be invisible, right. so they don't, but we don't know if he's there or not. So mm -hmm. it could just all be this psychologic thriller, and we see this woman ascend into madness because she gets all this money, right. but she has to stay sane. And you have your ex playing with it, and nobody believes it. Nobody down believes to the trailer, it. Trailer, nobody believe it. I was on set in Australia. They filmed it in Australia, mm -hmm. and you could sort of see Aldis sort of in this eerie sort of like, well, what's going on? She's like, there's someone on that chair, and Elizabeth Moss's face right. just looks. It's going to be so good. It's a Blumhouse movie, too. Okay. I don't know if you remember, uh, Universal was trying to relaunch their horror franchise, mm -hmm. the Dark Universe, with Frankenstein, the Invisible Man, all their monsters, and it failed. Right. So they're rebooting this really low budget, a Blumhouse movie, mm -hmm. and he's special for 
doing movies on like five dollar budgets right. that makes a hundred million dollars. This has the potential to be super great. I think it's going to be Aldis's breakout role yeah. and be on the lookout for him because he had a good start in the underground and everything, and now he's like. They canceled I that. I think thing. it's going to do well. Yeah. Um, so, to all the boys I've loved before, too. Yes, yes. What is this movie? Now, the trailer to me looked like it's for KJ, my son. It is. So, I but, was like, okay, what are we doing? Oh, my God. Uh, it is a kid's movie, okay. a kid's love story, but it's so beautiful, so great, and it's very, very entertaining. Again, it shows love. It's Valentine's Day. If you're going to be home with your mm -hmm. kids, it's great to watch, and it stars uh, a very multi cultural is a, cast. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Lana very Connor inclusive. and a kid named Jordan Fisher mm -hmm. and no Noah uh, Santino. Super yeah. great. And she sort of sends all these boys these love letters and they come back and they're like, yo, you love me, now I love you too. Boyfriends. And she got a juggling. But it's a beautiful movie. I found myself liking it a lot more than I wanted to. Yeah, can you uh, watch it with kids though? Is it you, a kid it's, age it's a kid's okay, movie, okay, but good. you could watch it with your kids and actually be entertained like, oh no, yo, I was in theater like it was a Tyler Perry movie. Oh, my oh God. no, you better not. Oh yes, you do. Oh yeah. Well speaking of Tyler Perry the people say that a fall from grace might be a sequel. Yo, 26 million people watch a fall from grace on its first weekend. In the first seven days, 27, 27 wow. 26 million people logged into Netflix and watched it, and there was a lot of conversation behind it. It was. So get ready for more wigs, you know. More you know screenshots, what? You know what? more people in the background <laughs> eating. It's gonna be good. I'm really excited to see it. For what it is, I was enjoy. I was like, why is this? Why is his hair like that? But I was engaged. His and, hair was off the chain. And when that ending came, I was like, you did not have Claire Huxtable do this. You did not do this to the Claire Huxtable. Oh my God. It but was it was good. such a great twist. It was. And I really love how um, Tyler Perry, he just really pushes the envelope with stories. Mm -hmm. Stories that we haven't seen. Just like Acrimony was such an amazing story. The Family That Prays. He really could go back and just do yeah. all the sequels to all his movies that are serious. Not yeah. just the Medea series, but all of his movies. So Say what you want about Tyler, but he... He got he, it going on. He, he know how to tell a story, and he know who to talk to. Okay, now really quickly. The Way Back. Yeah. Ben Affleck. I saw the trailer. It looks lit. People have been saying this is sort of like Ben Affleck's sort of comeback role. He had yeah. a little stumble, and he's able to really do everything he's good at on screen. I'm really excited to see good. it. There's a lot of young talent in it, yeah. and uh, he's, he's a basketball coach, so we'll yeah. see how it goes. And I heard it's the producers of The Accountant, which mm. is very lit. So, Absolutely. well, anyway, thank you so much, Zilla, for hanging out with us. I can't wait to check these movies out to get Zilla's take on all the hottest movies and more. Make sure you follow him on Instagram at blogzilla.